a $20 hair dryer versus a $200 hair dryer. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another curly hair video. Today is going to be a comparison video. I'm going to be comparing a $20 hair dryer versus a $200 hair dryer and seeing if it's actually worth it. I do wanna thank Timo for sponsoring a portion of today's video. But before we get into the diffusing and comparing of hair dryers, let's go ahead and style my curls. So I just got out the shower and I did do some detangling in the shower, but I always like to run my detangling brush through my hair once again, once I get out. I've had this brush now for five years and it's finally breaking. I mean, it's lasted a long time, so I'm not even mad about it. Really need to get my hands on a new one ASAP, but this is my favorite detangling brush. This is the Careco Mini Tangle Buster. Since I've been dealing with some more dry scalp than usual, which is because I haven't been washing my hair as frequently, I've been letting my hair build up a lot of product and just not doing anything to my scalp for two weeks at a time lately, I've been getting a lot of dandruff. So I've been using this nourishing serum from Miel and this has been helping a little bit. I actually washed my hair twice this week, so you guys should be proud of me. But I really love this stuff. You can also put it throughout the mid shafts and ends of your hair. It's not only for your scalp, it's just for everything. And it smells so good. But I'm gonna put a little bit of that in my hands to run it throughout my hair. To style my hair today, I'm gonna to be using the most random combination of products. I do love these all individually and in different routines, but I've never used them all together, so we're gonna see how this turns out. To start, I'm gonna use this Renewing Leave-In Spray from Wella. I really like this one because it is so lightweight. It is a spray leave-in. These have been my favorite lately because they condition your hair so well, but they don't weigh your hair down at all. It doesn't really seem like you're adding much product, but I feel like it does make a difference when I add leave-in versus when I don't. So I love a lightweight spray leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna run my detangling brush through my hair one more time. I feel like my hair is kind of getting a little long and I was just complaining how it wasn't growing and one of like the biggest pregnancy things people talk about is hair growth. And I was like, why hasn't my hair been growing? It's been six months already. But now that I'm looking at it, I feel like it has grown quite a bit, so I'm happy about that. Next, I'm gonna go in with this aqua gel from Truce. I'm going to section my hair to apply it. Probably apply it in like three different sections. This has like a very refreshing, fresh laundry kind of scent and it smells so good. It almost kind of smells like men's cologne now that I'm thinking about it. And I love that smell. <laughs> I'm also gonna kind of use my detangling brush to style my curls. So I'm just gonna run it through my hair and then scrunch. My hair is kind of drying out a little bit, so I'm just adding some water. Then I'm gonna add some more gel. And lastly, I'm gonna apply this whipped curl mousse from the brand Cake. This goes a long way. You really only need the tiniest amount. I actually haven't used this one in a while, and I don't know why, because I love this one. But I'm just smoothing that all over before I start scrunching. 
and I'm gonna flip my head over to scrunch this in. Okay, so now let's get into this blow dryer comparison, comparing my old blow dryer versus my new blow dryer. So I picked up my old hair dryer probably from TJ Maxx or Marshalls like four or five years ago. It was literally only $20 and it's what I've been using for the past four years before I got this new one last year. And this is the new hair dryer. It is the Timo Air Hype. It was sent to me probably about a year ago now. I have been using it ever since. So I do have a pretty good feel of how it works and the features of the hair dryer itself. I've pretty much retired this old hair dryer on my curly hair, but I did keep it around to actually blow dry my dogs. We do take him baths at home. And I'm glad I kept this one because we've tried both of these hair dryers on him and he definitely prefers this one just because it has a slower or like less strong airspeed. The Timo Air Hype definitely has a more powerful airspeed, which makes drying your hair so much faster. So to test out how powerful the Timo Air Hype is versus my original blow dryer, I thought I would do this little scrunchie test measuring how far it blows away from me using these little rocks. Starting with my old blow dryer, I'm going to put it on high and blow it towards the scrunchie and we're going to see how far it goes. <laughs> So that's how far it blew with my old blow dryer. Now let's test out the new Timo Air Hype. So the scrunchie moved almost twice as far in less time, which is a good representation of how powerful the airspeed is. Another thing I appreciate about the Timo Air Hype so much more is just the upgraded technology of it. I love the digital screen back here. Once it's on, it tells you in degrees how hot the air is blowing and what speed you're using it at. So let's get into actually diffusing and drying my hair. It's been a minute, so it is drying up a little bit and I feel a little bit of a cast forming, so it's the perfect time to start drying. I'm basically going to use the new hair dryer on one side, the old hair dryer on the other side. Obviously, it's kind of hard to do them at the same exact time to give a true comparison in how long it takes, but we're just going to go with it. I'm going to do the new side first to kind of give this side even more of like a head start, and I know it'll still take longer to dry. So no matter what blow dryer I'm using, old or new, I always start diffusing my hair by hovering. So I just hover around my head without touching my curls for a little bit. And then once I feel that it's a little more dry, I'll use the actual diffuser attachment and start scrunching my curls to get that volume and definition. Another thing I wanted to bring to your attention is just how cool this diffuser attachment is. For one, it is magnetic, and then it also has this little lever in the back that you can move up and down, and this moves the prongs of the diffuser in and out. This feature definitely helps with drying your hair so much faster because you can really get into those roots so much easier without causing any extra frizz, and it also helps create a lot more definition when you're scrunching your hair. Almost forgot that I actually wanted to time this. It is currently 222 angel number. <laughs> so 222 is our starting time. actually stopping once again just to gently clip up this side and hopefully avoid it drying with the heat from this side if that makes sense <laughs>
Okay, it is currently exactly 2.30. I think I just showed you the time less than a minute ago. And I would say that this side of my head is completely dry. Even in my roots, I can run my fingers through my hair and I don't feel any damp spots. So this side dried in like eight, nine minutes. Now I'm going to move on to this side, which is still pretty damp. Here's the difference between completely dry and damp. This isn't obviously fluffed out yet, but I'm gonna fluff them both out once they're both dry. Now moving on to the oblow jar, we're gonna do the same method of hovering and then scrunching. And it is currently 2.32. I know that looks blurry, but it's 2.32 and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So it is currently 2.38, I don't know why my camera's not focusing, but it's only been about six minutes, but this side was completely dry in about nine. I can still feel that my roots are wet on this side, and I definitely think it has to do with the power of the airspeed, because when I'm just hovering my head right now, or even when I'm like, kind of separating my hair with my hands, I feel like the air is not getting to my scalp because it has to go through all this hair and it's not strong enough, if that makes sense. So my hair is still pretty damp and I feel like I'm getting a lot of frizz because I might have started like hovering too soon before it was dry enough. But I'm gonna go ahead and just finish this off until it's dry and see how much longer it takes. It is currently 2.39. That was a workout. Okay, I'm literally sweating and it's currently 2.46. So that was 32, 10, 14 minutes it took. 14 minutes it took to do this whole side of my head. So now that all of my hair is completely dry, I will give you guys my final thoughts. I'm obviously in favor of the new Timo Air Hype. I just think it works so quickly, so efficiently, effectively, whatever, to get my hair dry ASAP. One of the things I hate about my curly hair routine is drying and diffusing. It just takes forever sometimes. And to have that like cut in half with the Air Hype is really, really great. I do like how it doesn't leave me with any frizz. I feel like it dries my hair really smoothly, really nicely, and I just, it looks perfect. And then this side has a little bit of frizz, and this is mostly due to me having to kind of manipulate it more to get my hair moving a little bit more, to get that heat in there so that it can dry. So that's something that I don't miss from using my old blow dryer is that extra frizz. I feel like the Air Hype really dries my hair frizz free. I can't tell if I'm blind or if my camera is like legit not focusing. On another note, I think that product combination worked really nicely on my hair. That was my first time using all those things together and I feel like my hair looks really good. So to finish off this routine, I'm going to put a little bit of this gloss shine in my hands from Truce or Truss. I'm gonna rub that all over and smooth it all around my hair and shake out my hair a little bit. This smells so good too. And once again, this was such a great wash day. I should really show you guys when I have bad wash days. I've seen some girl post a video like that. It's so realistic because not every wash day ends up like this. 
just the ones that I decide to put on the internet do because obviously, you know, I want them to look good. So overall, do I think this Timo Air Hype is worth it? 100% yes. I know it is a pretty penny if you do have the money to splurge and you're in the market for a new hair dryer. I think this one is definitely worth it, especially when you do compare it to something like the Dyson, which I think is like five, almost $600. This is only two. This Timo Air Hype could be such a great alternative if you are looking to upgrade and you don't want to splurge too much. I'll have the link for this hair dryer down in the description box below, as well as all the products I use on my curly hair today. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up before you go, and also make sure you are subscribed if you're not already, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!